Hello everybody. On the 12th or 13th of October, depending where in the world you live, we've got a beautiful new moon in the peace-loving sign of Libra. Now it's exceptionally powerful because it's uh, triggering the Uranus-Pluto square again and uh, Uranus is opposite the Sun and Moon and um, Uranus tends to bring changes as you can see those of you who know me um, I had to be radical and just get all my hair cut off uh, Uranus has been bashing away at my uh, Libra planets for quite some time now um, and uh, next time you see me I might look different again uh, because Uranus uh, is still going um, and uh, it's a t-square energy now uh, I happen to like squares when I have clients with lots of squares in their charts uh, it's a delight because uh, these are the people who are uncomfortable so they've got to push, they've got to learn lessons and push beyond certain boundaries or comfort zones people who've got lots and lots of trines and all the nice easy peasy aspects um, really often don't achieve quite as much as when the squares are there so now we've got these squares going on so um, there's a lot happening at this time and particularly for the cardinal signs uh, Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn many of you are being triggered by um, needing to understand uh, what's going on in the world right now what's happening with all these changes um, who are the people that are running countries um, I recently did a video on the Pope and I have to say it was probably my most unpopular video to date and luckily Uranus is shaking up my ass and saying it doesn't matter Barbara you're a Libra but it doesn't matter if you're popular or not it matters that you share what you feel is important to you so at this new moon what's important to you it was important to me to share uh, that I feel that this new Pope um, is bringing something completely new to religion, to the Catholic religion. And um, I've shared that and I've got 13 dislikes so far and upwards counting. And it's fine because uh, with this series of Aries and Libra uh, moons going on uh, this is very much about us learning how to accept one another's perspectives it's absolutely fine for you to have a different opinion to me to disagree with me to not like me how about all these things and isn't it so liberating yes I mean I'm sure I'll get plenty of comments about the hair but I like the hair that's what matters so what can you do now with this new moon in Libra that you like that you feel comfortable with and it doesn't matter what any whether anybody else what they think about it oh Uranus is so liberating um, and uh, Mercury is direct now went direct uh, well, goes direct on the 9th of October but still will be in Libra until almost the middle of November so Mercury in Libra is the peacemaker it's about peace it's about how can we bring peace inside of ourselves because that's really where it has to start if you're looking outside of yourself uh, you're probably going to be looking a long time you have to feel peaceful inside yourself and then you can bring that energy of peace outwards um, the ruler Venus is the ruler of um, Libra and Venus is square to Saturn at this time Saturn in Sagittarius so this square is probably going to set off even more religious disagreements Saturn in Sag I have told you guys uh, will bring up a lot about religion and beliefs and a restructuring of religion because for so many of us um, we've left traditional religion because it doesn't seem to apply anymore we're moving more many of us towards something that is more spiritual that doesn't have quite such a clear definition not all of us however and that's great too so the square with Venus is saying please just allow allow for everybody's viewpoint to be just fine 
because when you accept someone's viewpoint, not necessarily agree with it, then that person feels validated and you create a sense of harmony, which is what this new moon is all about. Now Saturn is a square to Neptune and uh, we are seeing um, this crisis of um, migrants, refugees fleeing their countries, their homes. Uh, here in Greece right now we've got thousands of migrants uh, landing at Piraeus every day. Um, and uh, there's a, going to be a blurring of boundaries. There will be those Saturn that will be saying, yep, we've got to have it this way and we will have certain quotas and we're going to make it really rigid and Neptune is saying oh now come on guys where's the compassion for one another where's the caring for one another when I speak to people here in Greece many of them say to me you know we're we don't have a lot of money but we we accept the migrants that come in we would like to help them how must it feel to bring a five-year-old child or somebody uh, with nothing uh, and, and flee your country how must that feel we are one another's brother one another's keeper truly we are now all month we've got Venus and Mars together uh, conjunct in Virgo which is very uplifting and Venus and Mars together in a person's chart when I see that uh, is, a, is a gentleness of nature and with it being in Virgo um, uh, some of you will find romance at this time yes that is a possibility and with it being in Virgo it's about noticing your relationships noticing how you are feeling uh, in every moment uh, so that you bring much more awareness because Virgo is about the details so this is a great time to become much more aware of your relationship with yourself I've noticed for myself, for example, when I'm doing mundane tasks like um, sort of uploading videos and it takes a while and, you know, I'm sort of laboring through it and gritting my teeth and uh, and I've just thought, no, um, this can be different. So uh, today I started to sing while I was doing it and I thought, right, I'm uploading Libra now and I'll do a little ditty about Libra. How can we bring joy into the most mundane of things? That too is being triggered by this new moon in Libra. And I guess most of all, what I feel that this shares is Libra is the peacemaker. Mahatma Gandhi was a Libra. John Lennon, his words ring for me very strongly at the time of this new moon. All we are saying is give, give peace a chance. Sorry, I'll try that again. So give peace a chance. Let's try it. It's time for cooperation, Libran cooperation, you and me together. Let's share the love. So, I wish you a very happy, a very harmonious, a very peaceful. How can you bring peace into your life is the question to ask yourself during this new moon in Libra. Give peace a chance. Thanks for listening, guys. I do love you all. Bye for now.